back to another Big L's uh, big workout video um, and this week is uh, really actually one of the weeks where I started to struggle a little bit because I was handling a lot of heavy weight and I was put I, I, I've, I've just had two weeks of really really good progress really pushing it really going hard and my body had basically had no rest whatsoever I basically changed trained seven times a week pretty much um, uh, but no, no, I, I didn't. I had a couple of days rest here and there, but it, nonetheless, what I'm trying to say is my body just seemed battered. You see me just warm up 100 kilos there on the deadlift. I'm 140 kilos at the moment, which is about 310 pounds. Still warming up, but what what you'll notice is during this big hours big week video is you'll notice me um, start to fail a few lifts and. I, I I like it. I like the fact that I get to share this with you. There's 180 kilograms on the mo uh, at the moment on the bar, um, which is just over 400 pounds, and um, you know this is a weight that I'm well well, well more than capable of getting. Um, but I want to show you the truth. This you know my channel is all about reality, real lifting real dieting real you know whatever or real, real whatever topic i'm talking about i try to keep it real and i will not fail to show you my failures and there's 180 kilograms on there at the moment 400 pounds and i failed it i failed it guys badly as you can see as well i don't get anywhere near it and you know <laughs> you can tell i put the effort in because i was starting to see stars um, but that bar was just not moving. Now, obviously, that frustrates you, and sometimes you think, well, sort of, if I go on there with a bit of anger like that, I might just be able to do it. I moved it a little bit better that time. The bar bent a little bit, but it, it just wasn't coming. And so it was one of those days where, well, I said, well, no, I'm not leaving if I can, if it's possible, without having got that that 180 kilogram uh, deadlift and um I, I i really wanted it and sometimes you know you know in a lot of my videos you'll tap you'll hear me talking about how your mind your mind can be stronger than your body it can really get you through a lot of what you're trying to get through and, and, and tell it you know no you're gonna get this lift and that's all there is to it it's part of the advantage of not having a spotter in my, in my case uh one of the things why i one of the reasons why i don't like having a spotter is um is is well i've got to get the lift otherwise i'm screwed basically i'm gonna get hurt <laughs> um but um no it doesn't always go that case guys as you can see no matter how much i want to lift this bar it just uh it, it, it's just one of those days where it's not happening and so you know there's no point in me bullshitting you and and saying well look at me I can do this right, I can do that right, and never showing you the failures. This is what I think a lot of the bodybuilders on here on YouTube fail to show yeah. sometimes. Not all of them, but a lot of them, they, they're, they're, they're there for their ego. They want people to go, wow, right, you can lift up. Wow, look how good your muscles look and all that. And I just show you, oh, I don't mind taking my top off and showing that I don't have the best of conditioning or anything like that. And I don't mind showing you, you uh, fail. But I'll also show you where I succeed. And I've got a sneaking suspicion. I haven't seen these videos yet, so uh, they're the, the just labelled Deadlift 180. This is called this this particular video. The previous one was called Deadlift 180 Fail. All done in order. And I've got a feeling that, as I say, sometimes you can just force your your body to do it. And uh, for some reason, I don't know why, I get it there. <laughs> now, what would be real? Oh, my glasses came off. You can see how much effort I put in. What would be interesting, guys, to go back over these videos and do an, an analysis of my style. Why Why did I, uh, and the lens came out of my glasses as well, I mean, it shows you how much effort I put in. Why did I get that last rep after burning so much energy, burning so much effort on something where it looked obvious I was going to fail? And I think really the reason sometimes it's just how, it's one of the reasons why deadlift for me has always been a poor lift. Sometimes I'm in the groove, sometimes I'm, I'm not, and it's just as simple as that, I think, with, with my case. And uh, you can see I've got no, you know, it's not like I'm lacking mental power. 
you know, uh, willpower is something that I, I, I do have. I can force my way through it, and after all those failures, still managing to achieve it is uh, not only phys uh, psychologically quite important, but physically it shows you how fit I am because that, that takes it out of your failing. <laughs> Take it, failing a lift really takes it out of you a lot more than actually getting a lift right so you've seen me do 100 and 140 kilos there this is another day i come back uh, two days later and i deadlift again i feel better i feel stronger i feel better nourished okay uh, there's 180 kilograms on the on the bar there 400 pounds and i'm trying to rep it as you can see and i'm struggling a little bit of grip I'm, i have straps on my hands but i didn't wrap the straps around the bar because i don't really like using straps i want to build up my grip i've got a paralyzed form on my right hand so i want to build up my grip as much as possible now um to replace that lost strength that i've got in my right hand um and it does show really i mean when i'm doing the lifts it's normally my right hand that goes now whereas prior to um uh, where my hand was hurt i in a car crash i uh <laughs> it was always my left side that went so you can see that you know norm that 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 that, that uh uh the, the effect of that injury now i was disappointed with that even though i got three reps three and a half reps or whatever on on three four reps something like that on on the 180 then if you were counting i've still got 180 kilograms on the bar here um i wanted five reps i went on that bar expecting to get five reps um one of the reasons I, I, and i'm not looking for an excuse here is you notice i had my training partner there i didn't expect him to be there i wanted this is one of those days where i wanted to train by myself and that was it i wanted to be in the gym by myself me and the weights and just i was just wanted fun i didn't want any analysis and he's being crit, uh, sort of a uh, critical of my technique saying i'll oh, do this do that i don't want to think i just want to lift and so i decided to put my straps on so it's probably why i actually get the reps here this time um it does make a little bit of a difference um but i do manage to achieve my five reps on 180 kilograms there so a major success especially after doing three four reps on the on the set before um with no straps that that's that's an improvement my, my back is getting stronger um, but you can imagine doing all this deadlift at the beginning of the week and now <laughs> another session of deadlift. You can see I've got, I got kind of obsessed with deadlift this week. Um, uh, you can see why um, perhaps in the later videos and also in the next Big Owls Big Week, which I do have the videos for, I haven't edited yet, which is, which is the week I'm doing at the moment, obviously because I haven't collected all the films. Um, you'll notice that I, I do, I am a bit tired and looking back at it, I can see why I'm tired. I, oh, I did way too much deadlift last week. <laughs> Three days in a trot, basically. Okay, um, so anyway, you've just seen me do 100 kilos, 140 kilos on there at the moment, which is uh, uh, 310 pounds. Okay, um, I always try to translate it for the Americans out there. And coming up is another 180 kilograms. I feel like a darts player. 180 <laughs> doesn't look like 180 on there guys um but there is uh it looks looks heavier but there's a, a the last two plates are a 15 and a 5 okay so that that, that that last plate's not a 20 so it's three 20s 20 kilogram plates aside a 15 kilogram and a 5 kilogram plate aside there just just for those guys who are like going oh it does that doesn't look like 180 um now you notice i am doing this off uh the floor ever so slightly that you can see it's only like an inch at most or something but i'm doing it off the bands um and actually i think I, I don't even know if i get this guys if i'm honest um this was the first day bad day that i had on lifting all the other days you could see my my head was able to get me through it i got the 180 um on the first day that you saw okay it took me like what five attempts four attempts um but i managed to get it but today was i don't think was gonna well there you go i start I, I i stand uh corrected i about to say today was not one of those days but sometimes you yeah you can just do it but i ended it there i knew i was beaten and that was the end of my deadlifts for um at least for this part for the first part of the week <laughs> and so i followed this up um that this this is actually on the same day as what you've just seen i think so i've just done my 180 and i thought you know what this deadlift i'm over i'm overdoing it so i need to swap it around i still want to work my back a little bit so let's shrug so i get the shrugs out okay and i start shrugging 
okay? At the moment, there's 100 kilograms, 220 pounds on the bar, and I uh, I want to build up my traps again. I want to build up my shrugs. The best I've ever done on shrugs is 360 kilograms, which is about 700 about 800 pounds for about 20 reps so um, I can be very strong at shrugs but it, um, since I tore my right pec which was about four years ago roughly now um, I've never really gone and done shrugs again because initially when I first started shrugging I couldn't shrug 60 kilos without it really pulling at um, the tear on my chest and in, in my bicep I tore my bicep and tore my, 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 my pec wide open so as a result it was quite it's quite a difficult lift to build back up but it's uh, something that i uh, intend to definitely very much get back up um, and i've got 140 kilograms on on the bar now uh, which is 310 pounds roughly and um, i mean the problem is with this guys is filming it, it it's a bit boring and it, it makes me look like i'm doing it really shit trust me my style is really good if you look at my hands you can see how far i'm or watch the bar you can see how far the bar is moving up and down but because i do move my head I do have that typical chicken pose that everyone gets when they're kind of cheating. I move my head. I don't know why I do. I mean, it's just a habit. Okay, just ignore that part. But look at the, the bar to see if it's moving, guys. And you can see I'm moving that bar quite a distance. So more than enough up and down. So they are good lifts regardless of uh, what my head may uh, be otherwise uh, dictating and, and showing you guys uh, because typically bad style is when, you, when you're doing that sort of chicken pose uh, like, like I say like you're like almost like clucking and trying to eat corn or something by bobbing your head up and down um, it's not a good look but um, unfortunately it's something I, I can't seem to get around um, um, and I, it's not as obvious when you're doing it either when you're watching yourself in the mirror you don't really realize you're doing it until you see it on film you're like shit so anyway, I've got 160 kilograms on the bar now. That's 355 pounds, roughly. Uh, getting better at my maths. Head's getting a bit clearer. <laughs> um, so 160 kilograms, 355 pounds. And I'm, I'm not sure what repertoire I'll do here, but you can see I'm, what I'm trying to do, this is the day that I filmed my video volume app, video of the uh, title Volumetric Work. Can, can you do it to lose weight? Uh, and I think this is what inspired me is because I went from obviously just doing a single rep on 180 which works the deep, deep muscle fibers and you know and builds up your strength and all that this will build up your strength as well obviously because of the weight but for me this is a comparatively light weight and I think I do like 35 40 reps here um, and um, probably 40 reps actually because I think 35 reps I do on 180 after this but you know I'm um, yeah you know, I'm doing a sh basically a shitload of reps, a lot of volume. This is, to me, a light weight, and so I want to work my body by getting it to do that light weight as many, many times as possible, um, up to a certain point. Obviously, there is a figure where you're doing too much. If you're hitting 50 plus reps, it's just too much. The weight, the weight is too light. Put the weight up, guys, and work within the 30 to 40 rep range at the very most okay and that is when you're doing super high volume work on muscles that are very very tough like the traps traps and calves are very 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 tough muscles it takes a lot to work them just just so you know but in case I, I waffle on a bit too long there's 180 kilograms on the bar there at the moment so back up to 400 pounds um, and I think I do 35 reps if I remember um, you guys can correct me. I'm not going to count them out to you guys and insult you. You can all count. Um, but I think they have to do 35 reps on here. I haven't got anything on my notes. But uh, um, I, anyway, I do a high volume of work. I mean, that's the other thing, guys. A lot of people, they, they get um, obsessed with the number of reps. Or if they only get this number of reps or that number of reps. I mean, it doesn't matter how many reps you do, providing it works your body. Um, and so whether I do 34 reps and, and some, 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 sometimes I'll be lifting and I'll, I'll come off the, uh, the, the thing say, say I was supposed to do 20 reps and I've miscounted on 19 reps my, my training partner will go oh, only done 19 you've got one left I get it I get it because we're competing against one another you know going back on there and doing it but it's one rep it doesn't really matter I've gone on there I've worked my body I've done it um, I could have done 21 
you know. Sometimes I have gone over. I'm shit at counting, by the way, guys, when I'm on a... When, I, when I'm lifting, I'm shit at counting. I really cannot count my reps. Um, I'm all over the place. Um, so um, that's one reason why I film <laughs> um, myself lifting as well, is because it's actually quite hard when you're, you know, controlling your breathing and that to actually count accurately, I find. Um the number of reps that you're doing and as you can see uh, especially when you've got the stress of that that kind of rate going through your neck because most of that sort of stress goes through your neck and obviously then through the, the, your back um it, it kind of distracts you a little bit from the repage but my point remains the same is don't get too obsessed with repage guys um get used to the feel if you're on there i mean repage is important to, to, to know if you're lazy if you're lazy and you know you need to be told to do so many reps then so be it and i don't mean that nastily lazily lazy it's just that if you're new to it or you just your motivation one day is not great then you have to use the reps as as a definite guide to help to, to make sure that you are doing the right amount of work but um it's uh if you're in there and you're highly motivated and you're just doing good and you're doing well and i enjoy enjoy my shrugs for example i don't need the repage really on the shrugs i'll just just pull it until it basically hurts <laughs> it's basically what i'm what i would do now what i did here is i left the camera on the whole time so you, you get to see the sort of rest period that i do for my uh, what i call my giant set of side lateral raises these are for the side or, or well for the medial, um, um, oh, what's it called? My bloody memory. Medial uh, deltoid, okay, which is the lateral deltoid, as some people call it. It's actually called the medial del deltoid. Um, and what I do is I go from four kilos to six kilos. I go two kilos every time. So I start on four kilos per dumbbell, uh, and then I go up to six kilos, eight kilos, so on and so forth. And if you want that in pounds, guys, then uh, just times it by 2.2. I think I end up on 10 kilos, I think, which would be 22 pounds, okay? Um, but anyway, I really, really push it. Um, and as you can see, it's all that volumetric work. This is the same day again, by the way, as shrugs and that previous deadlift. So this is one big workout, and, uh, and I wanted to show you how the workout goes over the entirety, um, rather than just like little snippets, um, because it's important to see it's important to see that you know sitting around for five minutes having a chat for example um nullifies the good work that you're doing you see what i'm doing there i'm as soon as i've got that race and i'm back at the chair bang I'm, I'm, I'm there you know i'd be quicker if i could i'd run and find the weights it's just i've got shit eyesight so <laughs> i've got to take my time when i'm, when I'm finding the weights but um once I've found the weights, I'm straight back on there and I'm lifting again. Now this is a giant set, and, and so obviously there is. It, this is an exercise that's designed to give you no rest. Um, but normally my rest periods are 30 seconds to 60 seconds anyway. So there's not that much difference between this and my normal training anyway. Um, now we're starting to get heavy, as you can see. I'm starting to struggle. My style's off, pretty shit style to be honest, and uh, might as well end it there. Thank you guys. That was that workout done. So we're now on another day. So we've had a big workout there. We, we've done 180 kilogram deadlift, we've done shrugs, and we've done side lateral raises. But now we're back to squat um, and 100 kilogram, 100 kilograms, 220 pounds, just to warm up is a nice way to start squat. Um, especially when my intentions in this workout, I felt good. I felt good this day. And my intentions were to rep 180 kilograms 400 pounds for as many reps as I could really but I was going for I think 10 reps really it was my ideal target you know if my personal best is 12 reps but that was a day when I had a good really good spot behind me and I felt really really good today on the, the workout that you're seeing at the moment I felt good but I didn't have a spot behind me so you know you've got to obviously take health and safety into consideration guys um, being pin pinned under 180 kilograms yes the safety bars are there but it still hurts to get out from there it still hurts a lot and I, the last thing I want to do is go pull my back or anything like that whilst I'm making good progress so here we are 180 kilograms is now locked and loaded onto the bar and uh, here we go and get 10 reps 
So what I did was I didn't actually film um, just prior to um, lifting the process of me putting on my uh, knee wraps. Um, putting on knee wraps and that is you can get weight out of knee wraps. If you've got really top quality knee wraps, you put them on really tight and you put them on correctly, you can sometimes get 10, 20, 30, sometimes 30 kilos if, if you've got beat knees, but but more more like 15 to 20 kilos, um, well, 10, 10, 10, 10 to 25 kilos, I'd say, on average, out on, on your one rep max. Now, as you notice, I don't really get that much out of these. Um, but they do just psychologically give me a lot of support. Um, um, psychologically, I feel like my knees are being protected. It's like putting, being a Middle Eve knight and putting Middle Eve um, and putting an armor on. You know, um, yes, it protects you and, and it makes you feel safe on the battlefield. It's not going to kill your enemies. It's not going to do the work for you. Um, but it's nice to know it's there in case you get hit. And that the, the, these um, wraps, they are very much that same sort of thing. They just help psychologically for me to, to think that at least the ligaments in my knees are safe and protected. Um, and most likely I'm not going to get injured as a result because I've injured my knees in the past when I used to play rugby. So it's something I'm a little bit paranoid on. So I do like to protect my knees. As you can see also, putting on knee wraps is something of a, simple, of a simplified process. You literally just wrap them around your knee. It's not that complicated to put on, guys. Um, and they're easier to put on bare skin. So if you're wearing shorts, good. Um, if you're wearing like me, shorts with trousers underneath, <laughs> training bottoms underneath, um, not so good because um, they can slip a little bit on trousers. But um, that's just a general pointer for you guys. If you can get it on bare flesh, brilliant because it's a uh, much tighter feeling and um, will give you a uh, it will be less likely to fall off uh, during the middle of a lift right so we're doing our 10 reps now and uh, and I think that is how we end today's big hours big week so I'll leave you with me doing my 10 reps um, if, don't worry they're done nice and easy there's no real struggle there definitely a lot more in the tank um, and I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I hope you're looking forward to next Big Owls Big Week, even though it will show really a different type of training, um, one where, you know, you can train your body, but whilst being a bit on the lazy side at the same time to allow your body to recover. Um, that's it from me, guys, as I say. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Plenty of other videos on the channel if you want to go check them out. Bye-bye.